Hello everyone. This video is to introduce my new baby radiated tortoises to you all. I will go through how I set up their tortoise table, collecting the baby tortoises and then introducing them to their new home. So first of all we'll get started with setting up their new home. Radiated tortoises have very similar requirements to leopard tortoises. So if you see my other videos on baby leopard tortoise setups then you'll be familiar with the way that I'll be setting up this enclosure. Here I'm using a black mixing tray and suspended above it I have a UVB basking bulb and also a ceramic heating bulb which I've connected to a thermostat. The next job is to add in the substrate and they have the same substrate as leopard tortoises so it's a 50-50 mix of topsoil and sand. And I'm making this about one and a half inches deep across the entire tub. I then add in a piece of paving slab so that they can bask on this under the UVB basking lamp. I then roughly position all the things that I want in the tortoise table and then once I'm happy with the layout then I'll put them in properly. All the items here including the tub I've thoroughly disinfected with tortoise safe disinfectant before I've used them. So we have a fake plant to give them somewhere to hide, a food bowl which I'm making sure is level with the substrate so it's easy for them to get in and out of, and a water bowl, a hide which I'll make into a humid hide later on by adding in some damp sphagnum moss just before the babies arrive, and another fake plant. I'm also adding in some pebbles and this will help prevent them dragging the substrate into their food bowl as well as giving them a hard surface to keep their nails trim as they walk over it. And finally a small piece of cuttlefish. Now that I have the table set up how I want it, it's time to test the temperatures. Their tub is in a room that has a thermostatically controlled heater in so that the background heat never drops below 22 degrees all year round. Even though I do have the background heater on, it's still important to check the four key temperatures, which are basking temperatures, the warmer end, the cooler end and overnight temperatures. The temperatures are the same as for leopard tortoises, although when the radiated tortoises are older, they can tolerate slightly lower temperatures compared to leopard tortoises. Here I'm using a thermometer that has two probes. So we'll be testing the basking temperatures and we want them to be around 30 to 32 degrees C and the second probe will put down the cooler end and we want these to be towards the lower end of the daytime temperatures so that's around 24 degrees C. After a couple of hours we can check the temperatures and then make any adjustments we need to. I haven't shown this here but I had to move the basking lamp up higher so that the temperatures underneath were in the safe ranges. After making these adjustments the temperatures are now okay, so the cooler end is reading 24.1 degrees C and the basking temperature is 30.2 degrees C. I then tested the warmer end and overnight temperatures to also make sure these are in the safe ranges. Alongside the digital thermometer that you can see here, I also used a data logger so I could double check the temperatures over a longer period in both the coolest part of the tortoise table as well as the hottest part under the basking lamp. If you want more information on the thermometers that I use then I'll leave a link in the description to the video that goes through this in more detail. Now that the tortoise table is set up and the temperatures are okay the next job is to get their boxes ready so that I can go and collect them and bring them home. Here is their tub which I lined with newspaper and I had two heat packs, one for the tub and a spare just in case the first one didn't work. I also popped in a towel in case I needed to cover them to give them extra warmth. Unfortunately I didn't think to film collecting them but here are a couple of photos of them on their four hour journey home with me. Incidentally for anyone wanting to buy a captive bred radiated tortoise these are a protected species so it's important to make sure the breeder has the correct and legal paperwork so that they can sell the tortoise to you. Also some tortoises need to be microchipped if they're over 60 millimetres long plus you may require other permits depending on the country that you live in so please make sure you do your research first. Once we arrived home I put both of them under the basking lamp to warm up before they explored their new home. 
I then left them overnight to settle in and then the following morning I gave them a bath to make sure they're nicely hydrated and then I gave them their breakfast. These babies are about a year old and although they're far too young for me to tell if they're male or female yet, I've guessed that this one here is a boy and I've called him Astro and this one here with a more detailed pattern on the shell is a girl and I've called her Zaza. I have increased the size of their enclosure since I made this video but I thought I'd do a separate video on how I did this as it shows how I made the tunnel to connect the tubs together and I'll leave a link in the description for you once it's completed. These are very special little tortoises as they're endangered in the wild. A few years ago I was very privileged to go behind the scenes at the Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust in Jersey to see how they cared for their radiated tortoises and I instantly fell in love with these beautiful creatures. I learnt so much from that visit from the staff there and I really hope that one day I'll be lucky enough to own and care for these species like they did. I really didn't think that I would own these for many years if at all so I'm so pleased to now have these babies in my care and I hope to give them the best life that I can. I hope you enjoyed meeting Astro and Zaza and if you did please click the thumbs up and subscribe to see my other videos.